Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is John Slop, and you are here to watch me listen to some music, dude. Uh, today, we have up uh, an album by the Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Um, wow, so, uh, right off the bat, I just gotta say, this reminds me of, like, an X-Men movie that came out, like, almost ten years ago. I'm not sure, but, um, uh... Right, it's very cool. Did they name it after this album by the Moody Blues? Were they inspired? Um, but this is cool, dude. This came out uh, November tenth, nineteen sixty-seven. Uh, let's just check out the uh, wiki page for this. Uh, Days of Future Past is the second album and the first concept album by English prog rock band the Moody Blues, uh, released in November nineteen sixty-seven by Dream Oh Daram Records. <laughs> With its fusion of orchestral and rock elements, it has been cited as one of the first examples of progressive rock. Wow. That's really cool. I did not know this. A first example of progressive rock. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I've been actually wanting to trace like progressive rock back to its roots, and it looks like we found like one of the pioneers of the whole like uh, concept, dude. Uh... So this is cool. It's going to be a concept album as well. Really cool. Okay, let's keep on reading. Um, the album was recorded at a time when the Moody Blues were suffering financial difficulties and lack of uh, commercial and critical success. Their parent label, Decca Records, uh, planned to release a classical EP, oh, LP, my mistake, to showcase the stereo recording techniques of its new imprint, Duram, but instead brought in the group to create an original work combining pop with progressive orchestrations uh, arranged and conducted by Peter Knight. Uh, who is Peter Knight? I feel like I've seen that name before. He's an English musical arranger, conductor, and composer. Okay. Let me know whatever, what else Peter Knight has done. Uh, they composed a suite of songs about the life of everyday man, with the group and orchestra mostly playing separately and mixed together. Uh, it was a moderate success upon release, but following steady radio airplay, particularly of the hit single, Nights in White Satin. Uh, oh, I've I've heard that song before. Uh, no, yeah, okay, so I've heard that song, well, a long time ago, when I was like 14, 15, I had like a, um, oh, I forget, I think it was like a best of 60s, like, rock hits? I'm not sure, uh, but I've definitely heard Nice and White Satin. Uh, it became a top 10 U.S. hit in 1972. Uh, it has since been listed among the most important albums of 1967. Gotcha. Okay, so it might have been on a 70s compilation album. It became a hit in the 70s, but it took... Wow, it was released in 67, but became a hit in 1972. That's funny. I wonder why that is, dude. That's like five years after this. Song. I guess that does happen, huh? Some songs don't get like popular until like a while after it comes out. So, um, wow. Okay, well, I'm excited, dude. Uh, we've checked out a few songs from Moody Blues, so check uh, my channel. I'm not sure. Let me let me see what we have in uh, for the Moody Blues. Dude, I don't have a single Moody Blues video uploaded. Uh, they might be in, like, previous streams, dude, from, like, December, January, February. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Uh, well, we have nothing to go off of, so... Let me look, let me look up what songs we've looked up on YouTube. Um, okay, so we've heard uh, Your Wildest Dreams. And I think that might be it, dude. Oh, I know you're out there somewhere. We've watched this before. I don't remember any of these, though. So, uh, you know, don't expect me to, like, uh, remember how any of this sounds, dude. So I'm excited to get into this. This will be a first time listen for me. Uh, the Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Uh, I'm really excited to get into this. Do progressive rock, one of its origins. Let's just. Oh, we also have to look at the personnel, dude. Who who's part of this album here? We have Justin Hayward, uh, acoustic and electric guitars, piano, sitar, and vocals. Uh, and then we have John Lodge, bass and vocals. 
Mike Pinder Mellotron Piano Tambura Gong and Vocals. Uh, what is a tambura? Is like a t not like a tambourine. Noob. The tanpura, also referred to as the tambura and tanpuri, is a long-necked plucked string instrument originating in India, found in various forms of Indian music. Wow. Okay. Yes, I've seen this before. It's like the big bulbous. It looks kind of like a big guitar, or like a bass, dude. It has four strings, like a bass. Uh, yeah, this thing looks cool. Um. And then we also have Ray Thomas on flutes, percussion, piano, and vocals. And Graeme, Graeme Edge. That's a cool name, dude. Uh, drums, percussion, and vocals. Literally everybody is on vocals here. Uh, with Peter Knight, who's doing conducting and arrangements. And the London Festival Orchestra. Wow. Okay, so that tells me there's going to be a lot of variety of, like, noise on this record. Like... There's so many cool instruments. We have a sitar, dude. We have a mellotron, tambura. Uh, we have gong. Flutes, I'm excited for the flutes, dude. And a whole orchestra doing who knows what. So I'm excited. Let's just jump right on into this, dude. What do we have first up, dude? The day begins. Now we have a very short album here. Like, like there's only seven tracks. So we're not going to be here too long. But... We're going to make sure we check out the lyrics for each individual track as we go along. So, again, thank you all for joining. Really appreciate you. Patreon crew, I hope you're nice and settled. Got yourself a snack. Got yourself a drink, dude. Got yourself your smoke. And I'm going to join you here in a second. We're going to get a little toasty and then jump into this first track here. So, like I said, leave your likes, friends. So, I also want to show you the album cover because the album cover is really like intriguing to me. Look at this album cover. What is up with this thing here? Dude, it's like surrealist Salvador Dali Picasso. This is wild. I like it. What do you think? Lots of little things that like look at. We have like the, the moon like we have the moon like a uh, pattern here. What is this even? Dude, give me your thoughts on this, on this uh, art. I wish I knew more artists. I could be like, well, this is impressionism. This is surrealism. Uh, let me know, dude. Are you an art aficionado? Okay, well, let's just jump on into it, friends. The Moody Blues. Days of Future Past. Track one. The Day Begins. It's quiet at first. Something's happening. Dude, 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 dude. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Real quick, sounds like a 
effing movie. Like, what the heck? What an introduction, dude. Okay, okay. Let's just take it back a little bit. Get back into this because I don't want to, like, mess up the momentum. Here we go. Oh, excuse my dog. Uh, we're just... Hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. Uh, so, dude, it feels like I'm watching, like, Grapes of Wrath or something. This is amazing. Let's just get right back on into it. Here we go. Okay, okay. Dude, this is filled with like such optimism, such life. This feels like it's definitely meant to inspire, to uh, increase your vigor level. Do you like, oh, this is inspiring. This is beautiful. Amazing, dude. I'm so happy we got a whole like orchestra to listen to. The variety of noise. We have strings. We have... Uh, uh, I hear little, little, like, bells, dude. It might be like a, like a marimba. Oh, no. I have all the instruments, dude. I forgot we listed every single instrument already. Was a tambura gong? What could that be, dude? Probably a percussion. Another percussion? Yeah, because there's two percussionists in the band. We have Ray Thomas and Graham Edge. It might be a marimba, a xylophone. Uh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, keep the song going. We're almost... We have about a minute left. No, two minutes left. What a wild intro. Let's keep it going. Here we go. The day begins. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. Pinprick holes in a colorless sky let insipid figures of light pass by. The mighty light of 10,000 suns challenges infinity 
and is soon gone. Night time to some, a brief interlude. To others, the fear of solitude. Brave Helios, wake up your steeds. Bring the warmth the countryside needs. Okay. Oh, that was so beautiful. I was just entranced. What a great intro to this whole experience. I am, I was, I was not expecting vocals for some reason. I mean, okay, okay. I'm not going to say for some reason. Most of the song was an instrumental. It led me to believe there would be no vocals at all, but hey, I shouldn't have assumed. Um, well, excuse my dog. I just love how the album already has subverted my expectations. This is not a uh, normal album. I should have, I should have expected nothing, dude. I am so surprised. This is awesome. Uh, what the heck was that little spoken part about? Okay, so just like it seems like there, it was narrating, uh, like the beginning of a day, like the 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 stages of the day um, in a very poetic, romantic uh, way. Like the lyrics were very uh, well thought out. Um, let's just take a look, you know. Um, so give me a second to pull that up. So yeah, uh, it, it starts off with a, a very lovely instrumental. There was lots of like violins, uh, definitely some cellos. I heard some oboes, dude. I love oboes. Maybe they were clarinets. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have the most experience with uh, woodwinds um, or any experience at all. Uh, I love the variety, dude. The orchestra was amazing in this. And whoever's voice this was, oh, Mike Pinder. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Yeah. So this part... The first part was the day begins, uh, zero to four minutes. And then after that, part two, morning glory is what it's, this section is called. Cold hearted orb that rules the night. The moon removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white. Uh, yeah, this is true. When it gets dark, dude, you can't see anything. <laughs> you can't see color really. Uh, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. Pinprick holes in a colorless sky. Stars? Uh, let insipid figures of light pass by. The mighty light of ten thousand suns challenges infinity and is soon gone. Uh, what could this part mean? Uh, the eternal fight between light and darkness with all the possible metaphors from night changing to day to forces inside the body, good and evil, positives, positive... Positivism and negativism. Wow, I've never heard those words before. Hope and despair, etc. That's this is uh, an annotation somebody added on Genius. The mighty light of ten thousand suns challenges infinity and is soon gone. Mm hmm. I see that. Mighty light of ten thousand suns. They they will go out eventually. <laughs> uh, oh. night time to some. A brief interlude to others, the fear of solitude. Brave Helios, wake up your steeds. Bring the warmth the countryside needs. So Helios, personification of the sun, driving the chariots of fire pulled by steeds, spirited horses to bring the day. Uh, Helios is a sun god. Uh, what is that, Greek? 
Helios, Greek, the sun god. Gotcha. I, I honestly, uh, I think the only thing I've seen of Helios is in like God of War, dude. I don't know if anybody's played God of War, but you, I think you kill Helios. I'm not sure. Uh, but this song was sick. Uh, the lyrics, amazing. Um, I'm glad uh, it's not like too like cryptic that I can't figure it out on like a first read through of this. So like, this is pretty accessible. Um, awesome. So we get a great, just, uh, you know, a deeply poetic, uh, beautifully like written, uh, like love letter to just life each day. This is like, yeah, no, a love letter to starting the day, I should say. All right, well, let's move on to the second track. Uh, let's see, what do we got next, dude? Dawn is a feeling. So moving on into Dawn. Okay, so that was the morning. Moving into Dawn. Dude, so... It's basically still the start of the day. Let's see what the Dawn brings. Whoa. Uh, all right, here we go.
Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. There's something special about this orchestra. <laughs> like, this is just so good. Uh, while listening to the orchestra, I had so many thoughts of, like, thank you to humans for finding out how to record, like, instruments so well, how to, like, play instruments so well. Like, you gotta give, give it up for humanity, everybody. <laughs> like, music is amazing, right? Uh, I'm, I just feel myself being so emotionally moved, like, by, by this orchestra. Like, it is wild. I definitely don't listen to enough like full orchestral uh productions like this <laughs> i'm so happy we're here um such an emotional outro uh, i love his voice like his voice is so deep uh it's really nice it's really nice um i love the amount of echo that's on it uh that song had a few different turns in it, dude. It kind of sounded um, a little Beatles-ish in the middle. Let's go back just real quick. So yeah, so yeah, we started off like really instrumental. I, I love the flute here. No, that's probably like an oboe, dude. Anyways, or a clarinet. Which one? Uh, but we got into a little bit of more like rock feel in this one. There was a, there was like a, a small rock uh, drum kit here. Let's see if we can find it. You look around you, things that astound you. So breathe in deep, you're not asleep. Open your mind, you're here today. Whew. I can't even imagine what this must have felt like to put on this record on your record player and then like, sit down and listen to it for the first time. <clears throat> Was this one of the first, like, acts to kind of mix, like, this kind of rock kind of feel with this? Probably not, right? Really big orchestral. Uh, uh, let me reword. Was this one of, like, the first groups to, like, mix these two sounds, like the orchestral uh, sound with uh, a little bit of rock? Maybe that's like the progressive. Maybe that what, that's what makes this progressive. Uh, let me know your uh, attitude. So let's get into the lyrics of Dawn is a Feeling. Uh, this song was great. Had a great amount of variety. Definitely gave us more of like a taste of what we're going to get. Again, still getting very like... Um, Oh, this one was a bit like a little bit more down, but it still seemed happy. I mean, not really happy. Okay, okay. That's the wrong word. This did not seem happy. Sleepy. Still kind of sleepy, maybe? Like, ugh. Very interesting, like, feeling this song gave. It wasn't happy. It wasn't sad. It was kind of like a slow awakening. A relaxed awakening. Okay, well, there's that little analysis. Um, so let's move on into the lyrics. Uh, verse one. Uh, Justin Hayward is singing for us this time. I like your voice, Justin. Uh, Dawn is a feeling, a beautiful ceiling. The smell of grass just makes you pass into a dream. You are here today. No future tears, no future fears. This day will last a thousand years, if you want it to. Wow. Okay, just kind of a poetic way of saying, remember this day. It's beautiful. The smell of grass. Remember the smell of grass, dude. You look around you. Things, they astound you. So breathe in deep. You're not asleep. Open your mind. You're here today. No future fears. This day will last a thousand years, if you want it to. Oh, and for the bridge, we have Mike Pinder again. Okay. Do you understand that all over this land there's a feeling? In minds far and near, things are becoming clear with a meaning. Uh, do you understand that all over this land there's a feeling? In minds far and near, things are becoming clear with a meaning. Like a social awakening, maybe? 
excuse my dog. Let's see what the genius annotation has to say. Uh, so for, do you understand that all over this land there's a feeling, somebody contributed on Genius saying, a general statement of the renewed feelings with the dawn of a new day. It is also a statement made many times by singers from the 60s with the social changes, wars, civil rights, and sexual liberty. The Moody Blues were in the forefront of this cultural revolution. That's exactly what I was saying due to social, social awakening. Uh -huh. Verse 3, we go back to Justin Hayward. Uh, now that you are knowing, pleasure starts flowing. It's true, life flies faster than eyes could ever see. You are here today, no future fears. This day will last a thousand years, if you want it to. Uh, fantastic. Um, very poetic way of saying, dude, live in the moment this day, make it memorable. Do what you can, get your most, get the most out of each second. That's what I'm taking from this. Uh, because there's a social awakening, guys. Like, we can't be lollygagging anymore. You know, we need to take life seriously. I love this. It's like brutal optimism. Really just kind of passing it on. I love this so far. Dawn is a new feeling, beautiful song. What did you think? Make sure you leave me a comment, dude. Each song, make sure to leave me a comment down below of what you thought of it and what you thought of my reaction. Okay, well, we're going to move on. Uh, so we're back to the morning. Another morning. Okay, well, let's just jump on into it. Here we go. Sorry, we got to pause it. I love this song so much. Uh, I'm so sorry for my dog. Uh, but dude, this is so enjoyable. This reminds me of like a Zelda song, I think. No, that's Pokemon, actually. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, right? I'm really showing my age here. But um, uh, I, I talk about this a lot, but a lot of Japanese composers uh, really take note from progressive rock. Like, that's just a thing. So you'll hear a lot of, like, uh, riffs from bands from, like, the 70s, 60s even uh, in video games like um, Zelda, Pokemon, um, Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, no, they all take notes from these these groups, dude. But this is this is awesome to hear. Um, 
So, any Pokemon fans know what I'm talking about? This is, uh, what is this? Da -da -dun 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 -dun. This is just like the, the first red and blue version, right? So, like 95 or 96 when the game came out. Anyways, sounds like the Beatles. I love the voice here. This one's probably the most like optimistic, happy, just overwhelmingly happy song we have so far. Um, uh, this is this is awesome. I like this so much. Um, dude, the bass is great. Let's just get back into it. You know, let's finish it up. Uh, one of the shorter ones. You know, just below four minutes. So let's just keep it going. Here we go. I was muted, dude. Uh, dude, my dog's been going wild. Um, dude, this might be my favorite song on the album so far. Just because of how fun it was to bounce along to, just how good they utilized the orchestra. Okay, hold on. I need to go check out what's up. Hold on. All right, got that settled. Uh, dude, I can't think that my dog's barking so much. Um, yeah, no, brutally optimistic, beautiful sounding. Uh, I love the voice inflection on this one. It wasn't like the same. I wonder who was singing, singing on this one. Let's um, go to the lyrics. Yeah, no, that's going to be stuck in my head. That little riff. <laughs> uh, so... Verse 1, balloons flying, children sighing. What a day to go kite flying. Why are the children sighing? <laughs> Breeze is cool, away from school. Cowboys fighting out a duel. Uh, like children playing, playing cowboys. Time seems to stand quite still in a child's world. It always will. Fishes biting, so exciting. Lunchtime sounds so inviting. Angler Bill, he gets a thrill, sitting, watching, bobbing quill. Angler Bill, they made up a, a person named Angler Bill. I love, I love that. <laughs> uh, sitting, watching, bobbing quill. Is that um, like writing, dipping a, dipping a pen into an ink? Uh, chorus, time seems to stand quite still in a child's world. It always will. So very on the surface, like poetic statements here, like there, it doesn't seem to be too much to like dig through. So I'm really happy for that. Like easy for me to think about, uh, but let me know if I'm missing anything. I know that, you know, I'm, I'm up to, uh, accepting the fact that this might not be as simple as I 
uh, expect. Um, yesterday's dreams are tomorrow's size. Watch children play, they seem so wise. What's up with the size, dude? <sighs> like a sigh of relief, maybe? Or maybe like a sigh of sadness, right? Okay, so here's what somebody had to say. The bridge is a return to the narrator's musings. The innocence and pleasure of childhood are adult subjects for longing, longing, even lamenting about the inability to relive them. Gotcha. Yeah. The size are sad size. Reminiscing size. Uh, verse four. Mary Green, today's a queen, while thousand dollies are a dreaming. Cotton frocks and golden locks. Her place is an orange box. Time seems to stand quite still. In a child's world, it always will. Uh, so let's go back a little bit. Mary Green, today's a queen. While thousand dollies are a dreaming, cotton frocks and golden locks. Her place is an orange box. Oh, kids have a talent to make toys out of anything. I just love how we made up a few different characters here. Mary Green, today's a queen, gotcha. Mary Green's just playing queen, playing with a thousand dollars. This song is so beautifully optimistic and happy. It's like, <laughs> wow. Oh, this music is for everybody. Like, literally, children should be listening to this and reading the lyrics. I'm not sure, like, if, this, if the album's going to get dark, dude. Ooh, it might. We're going to nighttime eventually, maybe. Let's, let's actually check. Where do we go? Mm, ooh, the whole album ends in nights in white satin. Then before that, we have the sunset, twilight time. Okay, we're skipping ahead way too far. What did you think of that track? Let me know what you thought of my reaction. Uh, let's jump into the next one. Uh, lunch break, peak hour. Uh, I'm going to take a guess. We're going to take a walk to the coffee shop down the street. We're going to meet a few new characters and enjoy some, like, fresh bread. And we're going to smell some, like, great coffee or something. Uh, let's let's see. Let's see what they have, dude. I can't wait. Honestly, I'm so excited just in anticipation of what orchestral... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dude? Ah. Dude, I should stop smoking right before we get... Oh, I actually... <laughs> that made me th that made me think I need another hit. Because, one, I'm not high enough. And two, <laughs> I probably shouldn't even take a hit because I'm already struggling with words. <laughs> Dude, uh, I love the orchestra. I can't wait to see what they bring next. So I apologize, but I'm probably going to get even stupider now. But... <laughs> We're going to take another hit. I appreciate everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, lunch break, peak hour, dude. We're in the middle. It just, it's lunch, dude. You know what else I noticed? This album cover is like symmetrical. Look at this. We have like the rainbows on the same side, the darkness on the same side. It's like a, just a cycle, dude. Much like the days themselves. Wow. This art is amazing. I want this art on my wall right now. I think this might be a, a purchase. I'm going to have to purchase it. Dude, I might smooth the queen poster down and then put Days of Future Past like right here. What do you think? What do you think? Or maybe, nah, nah, nah. Like maybe here? Nah. Anyways. So excited to get back into it. Uh, what do we got, dude? Lunch break, peak hour. Let's get it started. Here we go.
And I did not even mention the horns, dude. We had an introduction of horns. Like, I don't know if it was actually the introduction of the horns. Maybe I just uh, missed them in the first few tracks. But uh, last track, we got some horns, dude. I was so surprised. Uh, okay, let's just talk about this one real quick. Yeah, no, we're moving. Like, we're, we got to run to go get our uh, favorite sandwich. Dude. Like, they're about to sell out. And it's busy, dude. It's rush hour. It is peak hour. So let's just jump back on into this. I like the pace of the percussion. We got some brushes going on for the snare. It's really cool. Let's just get back into it. Here we go. I'm sorry, one last thought that I gotta get out. I love the stereo work in here too. Like, it is just phenomenal. Uh, again, uh, I mean, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I'm not sure when stereo even, like, became a thing. Let's see if we can look that up real quick, dude. Uh, first stereo recording. Is that it? Um, ooh, ooh, uh, well... Scrabian's Prometheus, Poem of Fire, from March 12th, 1932. Uh, okay, let's look up song, dude. First stereo song, it's still the same. Scrabian's, Scry -a Scryabins, Prometheus, Poem of Fire. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can, like, find that. What the heck? Uh, what's, what's your way in, dude? I'm trying to look for, like, the first like stereo song, you know? Uh, it was about 1958 for recordings with stereo sound to become widely available for home. I'm sorry, we, I'm just, I can go off on tangents, but I love the stereo work. It's great, like, they're using it so superbly. Let's get back into it, dude. Lunch break, peak hour. Let's see if we get our sandwich. <laughs> Okay, okay, real quick. I love this change up, dude. This is such a cool section. I love the melody of the voice. Um, dude, the bass is just so strong, too. Uh, yeah, no, they really ramped up the energy in this section. I love this. So good. All right, let's just back it up, get back into it, dude. Okay, this song is probably my favorite. This song is probably my favorite, dude. Uh, let's keep it going. It 
That is definitely my favorite song. Um, my favorite section is definitely that uh, that outro. Let me see if I can find the exact part where I was like, I'm in love with this song. Yeah, this pop riff is ridiculous, dude, with the guitar. Let's back it up a little bit. Yeah, this whole solo section. Let's see. that noise there Ooh, what was that noise hold on oh that might have been a keyboard synth right i keep forgetting we have so many different instruments on this album already let me know if you know what that was it almost sounded like a sax dude yeah it almost sounded like a sax let's listen to it one more time I'm sorry these this these vocals right here i love the melody yeah <laughs> it's just so cool i don't know there's something about it uh yeah the melody is just really good complements the instruments very well uh, it's very beatles-esque right but it's a little bit more like i don't even know dude i don't even know it's just a little bit different let's oh wow okay well that's my favorite song so far lunch break peak hour let's look up these lyrics <laughs> wow i love that song i can't wait to listen to it again uh so verse one i see it all through my window it seems Never failing, like millions of bees. 
All life is run, no time to be won, only to do what can be done. Ah, okay, so it's talking about, like, just work culture, like, never failing like millions of bees. All life is run, no time to be won. All life is won. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm taking from this, right? Uh, <clears throat> at least, um, I'm not sure what the culture was like over you know, where these guys were, but I'm pretty sure everywhere it's like a work culture. Like you gotta be up, you gotta like move, you gotta keep moving. There's not much free time to be had. Uh, chorus, peak hour, peak hour, peak hour. Minds are subject to what should be done. Problem solved, time cannot be won. One hour a day, one hour a night. Sees crowds of people home in full flight. Ooh, okay, so that was the verse I just read. Minds are subject to what should be done. Uh, the genius annotation. A desperate protest against the mind control imposed on the 9 to 5. Mundane office workers where what should be done for work outweighs what one wants to do or what is best. Thank you, contributor on genius. That makes complete sense. What do you think? Problem solved. Time cannot be won. It's always going to be lost. One hour a day, one hour a night. <laughs> Sees crowds of people home in full flight. Trying to escape the trap which is work or every day's routine in the fastest way. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Gotcha. Right. Crowds of people home in full flight, they're just like going home. They're flying home. Eager to be away from the mundane work. Uh, peak hour, peak hour, peak hour. That's the chorus. Uh, bridge, it makes me want to run out and tell them. They've got time. Take a step back out and look in. I found out. I've got time. And look in. Is this like meditation? Yes. Yes. Transcendental meditation. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know, while transcendental med meditation can be cool, it's like... It's still hard to get out of the, the need to make money to live, you know? So, it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Uh, and that was a Mellotron, dude. Guitar Mellotron solo. Awesome. What exactly is a Mellotron again? Oh, it's like a little... Uh, it was developed in Birmingham, England. It is played by pressing its keys, each of which pushes a length of magnetic tape against a capstan, which pulls it across a playback head. What, dude? What I gotta do now is, like look up and, and a mellow, somebody playing the Mellotron dude I need to look that up hi and welcome to Dr. Mix today with yo Dr. Please Mix subscribe you okay. see, there's this big rotor here that spins a long capstan across the keyboard. See? The pinch roller presses against the capstan and the tape gets pulled up. And since each key has a different... Wow. This control here, which moves the head across the tape, so... In this position, you have choir. In this position, see how that moved? You've got strings, and on this position, you've got flutes. This knob... Can you, like, put your own tapes in there, dude? That is wild. Okay, I'm sorry for that little tangent. Like I said, we get into... I get into tangents. I, I, I can't stop the knowledge thirst. Dude. Okay. Uh, lunch Break Peak Hour, my favorite song on the album so far. I can't wait to jump into the next one. Thank you all for dealing with my tangents. Let me know what you think of that song. Let me know what you thought of my reaction. Um, so uh, now we move on into the afternoon. Forever afternoon. Is that the full name? Tuesday, parentheses. Okay, whoa, okay. The full name of this song is The Afternoon, Forever Afternoon. In parentheses, Tuesday, question mark, slash, time to get away. 
This is the longest song on this album. So I think this is, yeah, uh, quite an amount of themes, plots. So I can't wait to get into this one. Hefty track. All right, what do you think so far? Uh, let's just get on into it, friends. The Moody Blues. The Afternoon. Forever Afternoon. Tuesday slash time to get away. Okay, real quick pause. Uh, I love the pace so far. I love the acoustic guitar. Um, yeah, so far it just seems like a really happy, upbeat song, Tuesday afternoon. I'm not getting any of the lyrics so far, so we're going to check out the lyrics after just to make sure what uh, he's saying. Uh, so let's just keep, a, keep it going, dude. It's just the beginning. Here we go.
move straight on in to the next track dude what an experience i was so immersed i was so immersed in that one the afternoon for, okay let's go back just real quick right uh the afternoon wow what a track the afternoon forever afternoon tuesday slash time to get away wow so many sections to that dude uh great vocal performances you know i'm just gonna go by what happened last uh i love the falsetto uh that was unexpected i didn't i was not ready great vocal performance uh who who was this uh, uh it isn't listed on this one I, I, let me know if you know the exact Like vocalist, I think it was. I want to say it's Justin. I want to say it's Mr. Hayward, but uh, just fantastic. Uh, this song was great. Um, I loved. Uh, you know, each song just still has kind of a like a positivity to it. Um, I really liked uh in the second section, evening time to get away. Um, we had. A very cool little bit like melancholic guitar riff going in it was very cool very cool i like that a lot the transition was very nice uh let's see if we can actually find it
Alexis. I, uh... It's like right here, right here. The harp, dude. Was that a harp? This was such like a heavy piano and acoustic guitar like song. I loved this so much. It was so heavy. Probably the heaviest track so far. Uh, the vocal performance was like everywhere, dude. We have such a range from calm, just almost whispering right here to... What a beautiful song. This also reminds me of Muse. Dude, anybody listen to Muse? The vocalist. He does a lot of false, uh, falsetto work as well. A great song, great piano. Uh, just... Okay, this one's fighting for top spot. Dude, I can't tell whether I like this one more or uh, Lunch Break. Peak Hour. Let me know which one you like uh, more. Uh, let me know what you thought of my reaction. Uh, all right, we're going to move on into the next song, which is uh, The Sunset, Twilight Time. Oh, Evening. This is, yeah, this is Evening, The Sunset slash Twilight Time. So I'm excited. Let's jump right on into it. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay. We actually forgot to check out the lyrics, dude. Uh, so, the lyrics for the afternoon, Forever Afternoon Tuesday, uh, time to get away. I'm sorry, I, I just, uh, I skipped it, dude. Okay, so verse one, Tuesday afternoon, I'm just beginning to see. Now I'm on my way, it doesn't matter to me. Chasing the clouds away, something calls to me. The trees are drawing me near. I've got to find out why. Those gentle voices I hear explain it all with a sigh. I'm looking at myself, reflections of my mind. It's just the kind of day to leave myself behind. So gently swaying through the fairy land of love. If you'll just come with me and see the beauty of. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not quite sure. Very poetic. Um... What are you just beginning to see? It doesn't really matter to you. Chasing the clouds away, something calls to you. What calls out to you? Looking at yourself, reflections of your mind. It's just the kind of day to leave yourself behind. Ah. Uh, if you'll just come with me and see the beauty of Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon, I'm just beginning to see... Oh, it repeats the same verse. Mm -hmm. And then outro. Okay, so... Tuesday afternoon gives this person, the writer, the feeling of like... Daydreaming. You know, I, th I think the Tuesday feeling is a very specific feeling. It's the day after Monday, you know? Still getting the work week started. Uh, but I wonder what Tuesday means to this person exactly. Let me see if I'm interpreting this right. Just lost in daydream, dude. It's the kind of day to leave yourself behind. So gently swaying through the fairy land of love. If you'll just come with me and see with and see the beauty of Tuesday afternoon. 
What is the fairyland of love? Oh, love is a fairyland? Okay. Some people on the Patreon were trying to get me to, like, relax on the on the lyrics a little bit. You know, sometimes the lyrics are just chosen for their literal word's sake. But I think there's a lot of thought given to, le- to these lyrics so far. So let me know what you think. Uh, verse 2, Tuesday afternoon, I'm just beginning to see. Oh, wait, we already read this. Uh, part 2, evening time. Uh evening parentheses, time to get away. Verse 1, evening has come to pass. The time of day doesn't last. Evening has earned its place today. I'm tired of working away. Self-explanatory. Working, living, it brings only ways to those, only way to have those things. Toiling has brought too many tears. Turn round all those past years. Evening time to get away. Evening time to get away till next day live all you people you can see where you're at it doesn't really hurt you so that can't be bad uh what doesn't really hurt (laughs) take advantage of this time the transition between day and night and since you know exactly where and when you're at it is simple to move on and since you know exactly where and when you're at, it is simple to move on. I guess if you're living in the moment, right? Yeah, some people, though, it's kind of hard to get out of their heads. Uh, I think that's how I'm interpreting that correctly. Uh, the bridge, again, repeats, live, all you people. You can't see where you're at. It doesn't really hurt you, so it can't be bad. No, so it's different. You can't see where you're at. It's different this time. Course outro evening time to get away. Okay, so this whole thing, so at least part two, time to get away. Um, evening time to get away seems to be about yeah, like this person said, the transition between day and night. Uh, like it's like a call to action to like live your life, live in the moment, get energized, use this time to like do whatever you want you know like you can literally do whatever you want but there are laws still i know you can't do whatever you want anyways what do you think of this song uh so it seems like this song was split into two parts forever afternoon and then we move into the evening in the same song gotcha okay gotcha so it's like you work and then maybe your playtime you're sick of working, dude. Time to get away. Where do you go? To the bar? Anyways, thanks everybody for sitting through these ramblings. Let me know if it's like too much. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm 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 just I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I talk enough. Honestly, I don't think I talk enough. <laughs> I need to talk more. So let me know what you thought of that track, dude. Uh, the afternoon, forever afternoon. So let's jump into the next one, track six. Uh, we're in evening still, the sunset twilight time. Here we go. The sun goes down. 
Shadows on the ground Never make a sound Fading away in the sunset Night has now become Day for everyone I can see it all From this great height I can feel the sun Slipping out of sight And the world Still goes on Through the Okay, right. place to pause it. I love the percussion in this. I love just the overall, like, I can't tell if it's like an Indian inspired. It sounds pretty Indian, right? Uh, you know, I gotta go back to some video game connections, dude. But um, this reminds me of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Koji Kondo, I'm pretty sure Koji Kondo, the, uh, the conductor of the, of the music in that game, pretty sure he listened to this as well because these drums these percussions they sound like the goron noises or the goron music it sounds like the goron music of goron city i don't know if anybody is familiar again i'm sorry really showing my age um i but i love it i love all the different noises and uh different tone overall of this song very refreshing it's like a palate cleanser of a song let's get back into it uh let's see what else we can get out so uh evening the sunset slash twilight time Okay, real quick, one last pause. I love this section. Uh, I love the transition into this section. Uh, it's more of like a rock portion. 
Uh, I love the effect on the voice here. Um, again, I got to bring up the effect of stereo, dude. I love the mixing of the two vocal tracks. I don't know if you guys can notice. There's two different vocal tracks, one for each ear. They're mixing it very well. Um, and I just love the inflection, like the, the accent this person has. It's very like John Lennon, right? I know it might just be the accent and it just might be like, I haven't just heard a lot of vocalists. I'm pretty sure a lot of British vocalists are going to sound like, like John Lennon to me for a little bit until I start differentiating. So I'm sorry, but let's just jump back on into it. Uh, uh, the song's very, very cool so far. We're we're almost in the home stretch of this one, so let's just keep it going. We're in twilight time. Hold on. Okay. Wow. So it is amazing how you can just create an image in the mind with music, dude. Like, how are they able to get the whole essence of evening across with like music? Like, that is just wild to me. Like, uh, that felt, it just felt like it was evening. Like, uh, I, I closed my eyes. It didn't seem like it was daytime, you know, energy, like, well, it's because they set a standard here. They've told us what the morning's supposed to feel like, what the morning and afternoon is supposed to feel like. Uh, this was very low energy, you know, very relaxed. Um, it was almost like, like the first part was definitely a little trippy, honestly. It was a little different, dude. Indian inspired, you know, maybe when we take a look at the lyrics, we'll get a, an idea of what the sections were supposed to mean. So, uh, yeah, no, I liked the last section, very upbeat. Uh, let's see what shenanigans they got into <laughs> to induce these feelings. Evening, the sunset, twilight time. When the sun goes down and all the clouds all frown, night has begun for the sunset. See it with your eyes, earth re-energized by the sun's rays every day. Take a look out there, planets everywhere. Yeah. Gotcha. This is pretty straightforward. The night comes, you get to see the planet. Well, you know, times, times are different. We have a lot of light now. I don't know if you could probably see the, see the, like the planets and stars and stuff way easier during during this time um verse two when the sun goes down and all the clouds all frown night has begun for the sunset shadows on the ground never make a sound fading away in the sunset night has now become day for everyone night has now become day what do you think that means dude night has now become day for everyone bridge i can see it all from this great height i can feel the sun slipping out of sight and the world still goes on through the night. Wow. Okay, so that was section one, uh, the sunset. Gotcha. A very, just a very poetic way of putting it. 
Uh, I can see it all from this great height. I can feel the sun slipping out of sight, and the world still goes on through the night. Yep, everything keeps on going. Uh, this world is increasingly 24 hours. Like, people are staying up, you know. Uh, then we're moving on into the second section, Twilight Time. Uh, verse 1, Twilight Time. To dream a while in veils of deepening blue. As fantasy strides over colorful skies, the form disappearing from view. Wow. This is reminding me of, like, how poetic Neil Peart got. <laughs> uh, course, in twilight time, dream with me a while. A nightingale plays a dark, mellow phrase of notes that are rich and so true. An aerial display by the Firefly Brigade dancing to tunes no one knew. I like that. Nobody ever writes about... Well, there is one famous song about fireflies. Uh, in twilight time, dream with me a while. In twilight time, dream with me a while. Building castles in the air, whistling to the wind as nature bows down her head. See what tomorrow brings. In twilight time, dream with me a while. Bats take to wing like puppets on string prancing through cool evening air. In a sightless glide, no reason to hide, away from the sun's blinding stare. In twilight time, dream with me a while. Wow. A beautiful, like, just love letter to nighttime. Like, what the heck? There's lots of cool stuff that happens at nighttime, much like the, uh... Much like the, the well, what song was it? Where we were seeing like kids playing? It was The Morning, Another Morning. Uh, yeah, this is very much like The Morning. It's just another morning, dude. I love this. Section 2 is great. I like the bats, dude. I like Nightingale. Building castles in the air. What about, what does this mean? Great metaphor for daydreaming. Making plans for de or deeds that will never be performed. Gotcha. Wow. Has, has like the writer talked about this before? Is that why people like just know what this means? This is on the bridge. Whistling to the wind. As nature bows down her head, see what tomorrow brings. Pretty self-explanatory. Wow. What do you think of this beautiful love letter to the evening, dude? And the sun setting. Ugh. Oh. I definitely see the whole concept now, you know, even though we still have one song left, what a, just a beautiful album. I've never heard of an album, uh, just give so much attention and romantic romanticism of the day, dude. I love this. It's great. It's great for grounding, like reminding us all we are human. Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, so, what do you think of that track? Moving on into the seventh and final track of this album, The Night, Nights in White Satin. So again, I mentioned this at the beginning of the reaction, but I have heard this one uh, a few times uh, since my childhood, since I was like 14, 15. So uh, this will not be a first time reaction, but it will be a sit down and listen reaction like uh, um, the only times I've like, okay, I listened to this song in the car on car rides. I had a CD. Uh, I never like listened to it on my, you know, off time exactly. Um, it was mostly on car rides to school, to and from. Um, yeah, so that's the only experience I have. So let's just get into it and then we'll check out the lyrics right after. So the Moody Blues, the night, nights in white satin. Here we go. in white satin never reaching the end letters I've written never meaning to send beauty 
had always missed with his eyes before Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love you Dude, 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 what is that? Dude, I always thought it was an actual like chorus of like people, dude, but like I'm not sure now. It sounds like maybe a Mellotron? Like they put a a wild chorus tape on a Mellotron. What is that? I you know the the background chorus going uh but i digress let's just jump back on into it a beautiful song dude probably the most like vocally uh impressive song it's all coming back to me too like what a powerful song let's just jump right back on into it here we go gazing at people some hand in hand Just what I'm going through They can understand Some try to tell me Thoughts they cannot defend Just what you want to be You will be in the end And I love you Real quick, dude, did you hear that snare like 15 seconds? I know we, we listened, we, we've already listened like 10 seconds after, but we just got to go back, dude. That snare was so powerful. Yes, I love you. Oh, 
dude okay go real quick i don't think this was in my my version that i listened to on my like compilation cd of like greatest hits of the 70s um i don't think this part was on it so this is cool this is all new uh what a powerful song his voice the crescendo it's all it's all great fantastic but yeah still let me know what those voice what the voice is in the back like i still can't figure it out um but uh, let's jump back on into it see what this part's about dude let's see how they finish it up Lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament. Another day's useless energy spent. Impassioned lovers wrestle as one. Lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and settles her son. Senior citizens wish they were young. Cold hearted orb that rules the night. Removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white. But we decide which is right and which is an illusion. Wow. Truly epic. That reminded me a bit of like Pink Floyd at the end there. Uh, I think it might have been like the spoken word kind of thing. Um, uh, just very story like this whole album started with something similar. I think it might have been even like the same uh, thing repeated. Let's take a look at these lyrics. But wow, I was not ready for that extra ending section. Yeah, like I said, I don't think that was part of my my experience growing up. I think it ended a little bit earlier. Um wow. Fantastic use of the orchestra for the ending there. Just beautiful. I love the gong as well. I was like, I kind of forgot they had even listed the gong as part of their instruments. <laughs> so I was like, oh, there's the gong. Uh, okay, well, dude, we've listened to it. And what an audio, audio experience. Dude, this was one of the best albums I've ever listened to. Uh, yeah, I can see so much inspiration in, like, future music, like... I, I, I can see how this inspired so many artists to take on a more concept album type thing. Like, a, definitely inspired Pink Floyd, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, and again, uh, I just have to connect this to something that I know personally. Uh, if you've ever watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there's uh, one um, character who has the power, who, who has a power called uh, named Moody Blues. And um, I believe this album was the direct inspiration for that whole character. So uh, if you if you want to look that up, just just watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventures uh, Part 5. Dude, there's a character named Moody Blues. Um, even the album cover reminds me of like JoJo's. Uh, but wow, wow, what an experience. I'm so happy I have this under my belt now. This must be like one of the most 
uh, like classic progressive rock albums of all time. Like there was so much work put into this, dude. A whole orchestra. Uh, so much work on the lyrics. So much love to life, dude. So much optimism given through these songs and lyrics. Um, okay, well, we have to read the last lyrics for Nights in White Satin and then this last uh, for the part two that I've never heard before. So, Nights in White Satin. Never reaching the end. Letters I've written never meaning to send beauty i'd always missed with these eyes before just what the truth is i can't say anymore so i'm not sure what knights in white satin means so when i first heard this i thought it was like knight like a like a like a you know a protector a knight like a person but no this is knight like night time Nighttime in white satin. What does that mean, dude? Never reaching the end. Letters I've written, never meaning to send. Beauty I'd always missed with these eyes before. Just what the truth is, I can't say anymore. Ah. So from these last two lines, maybe you've had like a veil put over your eyes now that you're older. Uh, you see like the b beauty in life and what it, you know, it's opened up your mind. Your mind is open. Uh, cause I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, how I love you. What is it exactly you love? I thought this might have been like a love song to somebody, dude. I think this might just be like a love song to like the night. Or like life. Uh, what do you think? Verse 2, gazing at people, some hand in hand, just what I'm going through they can't understand. Some try to tell me thoughts they cannot defend. Just what you want to be, you will be in the end. So some people are like telling you thoughts they can't defend, like really bad thoughts, like you want to hurt people stuff. Just what you want to be, you will be in the end. Like you'll eventually become what you want to be, like if you just keep on manifesting it kind of feeling. Chorus again, and I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, how I love you. Verse 3, night in white satin, never reaching the end. Letters I've written, never meaning to send. Beauty I'd always missed with these eyes before. Just what the truth is, I can't say anymore. It kind of repeats everything we've already read. So, wow. Okay. Wow, I never realized the lyrics were so simple. Beauty I'd always missed with these eyes before. Just what the truth is, I can't say anymore. So your mind is open, right? You've written letters, but you don't mean to send them. Uh, you gaze at people, some hand in hand, and you reminisce. They just can't understand what you're going through. And you hear from people some heinous thoughts. Wow, this song is kind of all over the place. What is this even about, dude? Maybe it's just like about a night, a certain night that he's experienced people interacting with him in, in these ways. Finding beauty in the night, finding beauty in the socialness of the night, dude. Well, what do you think? Again, maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but uh, just let me know, you know. Uh, and then here's the second part. Late lament. Breathe deep the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament. Another day's useless energy spent. Whoa. Being a bedsitter? Like, like, what is a bedsitter? Somebody who watches somebody, like, in a bed, maybe? Like, um... Oh, somebody who stays in bed, maybe? Uh, impassioned lovers wrestle as one lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and suckles her son. Senior citizens wish they were young. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night, removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. Wow, so I feel like there is a lot to this last uh, section. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night, removes the colors from our sight. I figure that's not like literal, 
What do you think this metaphor means? Red is gray and yellow is white. Well, okay, we looked that up before. It's like a literal transition of colors. But what does it mean metaphorically? Maybe it's like people tend to become cold as well. Uh, so far, the late lament seems to be about everything of what the night could encompass. It's just like here we have uh, we we watch the lights fade. We watch bedsitter people look back and lament because they're like, oh, another day's wasted, dude. I stayed in bed all day. Uh, impassioned lovers wrestle as one. <laughs> uh, I know what that means. Lonely man cries for love and has none. Somebody next door to you is literally hoping for that same experience that is happening next door, dude. This is just like a, a social commentary. Like, I love this. This is really cool. What do you think? I think it's pretty simple. I don't think it's like too deep, but let me know what you think. Well, we've finished. Uh, the what, what is this album called? Days of Future Past. I wanted to call it uh, The Days of Future Past, but this is The Moody Blues with their album Days of Future Past. Thank you all for joining me. Like, wow, what a journey. And each song brought something new. Uh, like audio wise, dude, we either got some new vocals, new instruments, each song brought something new, uh, a different style, um, some transitions that I was not ready for that really surprised me, dude. Uh, but I'm gonna have to say, I think my favorite song on this whole album is probably still going to be lunch break peak hour, just because it was the most upbeat, uh, I really liked the melody in the second part of the whole song with the vocals. Um, yeah, I think that's like, I think that's my favorite song. Um, and I also think it's because I like when people are awake more too. Like, this really is a social commentary in an album form, dude, of the time. This is a really great, amazing. You know, let me know what you think of this album. Let me know if I missed anything or if i overthought things uh that's okay too give me your honest uh critique what you thought of each song as well and wow 1967 dude how fantastic i cannot wait to listen to another moody blues album to see what else they bring to the table um you know what did their this is their second album right like if i read that if i remember reading that correctly second album and the first concept album okay i would like to go back and see how their first album came about and what it was what it what it sounded like dude uh but wow all right well that concludes this reaction to moody blues days of future past thank you all so much for joining i really appreciate you make sure you check out my patreon for early access to these videos and uh, make sure to join us on the stream when i go live on youtube uh on my patreon is patreon.com slash john slop and uh, make sure to please leave a like if I did not already mention that. And um, thank you all to the Patreon crew, dude. We got to give a shout out to y'all. So here y'all are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, no, just make sure y'all have a good rest of your evening. Make sure you stay tuned. And uh, let's take one last hit for everybody. Thank you for staying until the end. Really appreciate you. And my cat wants to say hi as well. So, thank you, everybody. My cat hates the smoke. Uh, so, thank you, everybody. Uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. All right. Peace. Thank you again, Bob Kern, for this uh, request, dude. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that, huh? Yeah, Bob Kern is the one that requested this. Thank you so much. I'll put it in the description so you won't forget. Uh, all right. Well, I will talk to you in the next one. Peace, everybody.